Now for Joshua Reinhardt, this is a little deja vu because they uh, met back in September where uh, Kazaa Light lost to Megatron. Let's see if Megatron can make it 2-0 and oh here. Yeah, I believe that fight, though, Five, only half four, of Kazaa Light was three, present. Two, he was still functioning one, as one fight, half of a multibot. Oh, goodness. Good way start go. here. Very start. Oh, nice flames coming off that half of Kazaa Light. And the other half is flamed up too. Excellent fork engagement. Now, Ricky, one of the things here is both Zalite and Megatron, they are control bots, essentially. Absolutely. You know, they want to capture their opponent, push them up against the rail, and uh, do damage really in, in close quarters. Yeah, and the, the difference here is, is that Megatron can see that instantaneously do damage, almost. As soon as that pin happens, he can hit exact damage. Because Zala Light needs to hold the robot there and barbecue it for a length of time to really accomplish anything. So it's a very different path to victory. There's a big weight disparity here in the box, too. Megatron is very heavy, and it's got this great tread system with lots and lots of contact with the floor. Absolutely, but... Man, this, uh, this flame is starting to get very effective. That looks like it might be uncontained fire there. It's not oh. quite as directed. That's true. Yeah, the flames are uh, at best a suggestion when you direct them uh, coming out of Kazaa Light. Oh, and look at that. I think one half of Kazaa Light is it down. It does seem so. Yeah, now this other half seems to be doing fairly reasonably well. It's winning most of these grappling exchanges, but it's not able to do anything. A minute 30 left here in this fight. Mega Meanwhile, when when uh, Megatron grabs a robot, it's able to push Kazaa Light anywhere at once in the arena. It's a very different back and forth. Now, under the rules, Megatron has to knock out both halves of this, uh, this multi-bot to win a knockout, right, Ricky? That is absolutely correct. And then if this does go to the judges, we'll be looking at, well, you know, half of the robot is already destroyed on Kazaa Light. Uh, so if... Because Al Light wants to win, they either need to do massive damage uh, or they need to knock out Megatron. So it's an uphill battle, especially with only a minute left in the fight. Now, this is an absolutely fresh floor here as we start the 30 pounds. Oh, look at bracket. this, Luke. Wow. Look at this. This is a perfect barbecue. This is exactly what Al Light needs to do. 45 seconds left, and Megatron is really hoping to get out of this. Oh, there's some the drive issues on the right-hand side of Kazaa Light, but also Megatron is not moving. This could be a double knockout. Oh, but Kazaa Light, the other half is working again and barbecuing. How did this happen? 25 seconds left. This Come could back very from the realistically dead. turn into a Kazaa Light win over Megatron. Oh my God, from those trends is gone. This. Look at the flames, Luke. Look at the flames that are having. This is an incredible barbecue. Wow. They take it at the full three minutes here as we tick down the last seconds of this match. This is going to the judges. What an Look, and both cats of Kazan Light are functioning, albeit minimally. You have two working weapons, you have two working drive systems, and you have a very on the ropes Megatron. What a fight! I am gobsmacked, Ricky. All right. Here it is. Megatron takes By it. By a point with every wow. single judge. 9-8, 9-8, Oh my goodness. Oh. So this is because the pin at the very end was longer than 10 seconds because both of the Kazaz did not have drive. Right. And so therefore, the judges only count the 10 seconds of it. That's it. Oh. So by one point, your winner, Jameson Go and Megatron. And a lot of it, I think, is because of the functionality issues at the end. Yeah. That's crazy.